The Civil War is what many people think of when they think of prosthetics and orthotics. Gettysburg wasn't just the beginning of prosthetics. It's now the future. Gettysburg is the headquarters of Ability Prosthetics and Orthotics, and they have been making international news by combining state-of-the-art technology and old-fashioned patient care in a new practice model. Case in point, Erminio Bugliana. Erminio Bugliana is a painter who has not been able to use his hands for the past 25 years. A friend of artist Andrew Wyeth, who painted this picture of him, Erminio lost one hand and most of the other in a fireworks accident. He often rigged contraptions of his own making so that he could still paint until he heard of Ability Prosthetics. Ability prosthetist Jared Howell suggested to Arminio that he was a perfect candidate for a new bionic hand that had been on the market for less than a year. Arminio is a great candidate for my electric first off because from the day he came in, uh, actually when he reached out to talk to me, he said, you know, can many of your patients do this? And he moved each, each and every one of his digits. This is the first time Arminio has tried his new hand. It feels really too hard to believe. Of course I was thinking on my parents and how, and how happy they would be if they could see it. Just hours after receiving his new prosthetic hand, Erminio Bugliana is ready to jump back into life, into painting, and possibly even riding a motorcycle again. The prosthetic hand that Erminio uses, the eye limb, was named by Time Magazine as the number one healthcare innovation of 2008. Through sensors, it allows patients to control movements through the muscles, nerves, and tendons that they used to use to control the movement of their hands. When he was fitted for the eye limb in November of 2008, Erminio was one of just a handful of patients who had received the revolutionary prosthetic. Now, Ability has eight patients in various stages of fitting for the eye limb, including patients in their Frederick, Hagerstown, Gettysburg, Allentown, and Philadelphia offices. One of those patients is Berkeley Noggle. In 2005, Ability fitted Berkeley for what was then considered a state-of-the-art prosthetic limb. A Vietnam veteran, Berkeley's arm was severed in an automobile accident more than 15 years ago. It's a very friendly atmosphere here, very caring. I mean, he was very careful when he made, did the uh, molding for the arm to get the glove and all this made. He was very careful to get it just right. In March 2009, Berkeley received a new eye limb and a new lease on life. This is the first time Berkeley has used his hand. I can't explain it. It's just, it seems to me like it's just going to be like I have found my hand again. And the advancements are not limited to prosthetics. Orthotic or brace wearers are enjoying an influx of new available technology as well. And these technologies are applicable to millions of patients. Case in point, Gene Ionelli. Gene Ionelli was stricken with infantile paralysis at the age of 14 months. Quarantined in a hospital for two years, he endured numerous operations to cut bones and stretch muscles to allow him to navigate with canes. Never one to let anything stand in his way, Gene has sung the national anthem for presidents and heavyweight champions. And if I can make it there, And he's owned restaurants and been a Baccarat dealer in Atlantic City. It's up to you, New York, New York. But today, for the first time in 69 years, Gene Ionelli will be able to bend his knee when he walks, providing him with a safer, healthier, and more efficient walking style. Gene is walking thanks to a new bionic leg brace called the EMAG Active. In late April 2009, Gene became the first patient on the East Coast and only the fifth nationally to receive the EMAG Active. It's amazing, it's very lightweight, it's a 
my left leg is normal, so I can just compare it with my left leg, which is that's how the right leg's working. I, I can't even believe it. I mean, it's like walking on air. It's beautiful. David Showers has been an orthotist prosthetist for four decades. This technology that, that I've seen on this gentleman, I still predict that it's probably the first generation. It's only the beginning, not the end. I can't put it in words. It was it's just awesome. It's a it's like a baby learning how to walk all over again. I absolutely love my job. It's I I I, I wouldn't do anything different if you could change if I could change today.